Okay, here we are. I'm filming with my phone. I'm actually not mad at it. Ojalá que se oiga bien. Um, bienvenidos, muses. Regrese con otro video. Today's video, estamos en mi cocina. Estamos en mi cocina. It's, what, la nueve y media. And my little child right here is waiting to eat. Um, if you guys don't know, I am a Frenchy mom and I am obsessed with my son. I think he is the best thing that's ever happened to me. If you're a Frenchy mom or a Frenchy dad, I'm sure you guys can relate. He's annoyed because he wants to eat. Say hi, say hi to my people. No? Yo quiero comer, mami. Yo, te, yo tengo hambre. Yo tengo hambre. Okay. So today's video, it's gonna be how what I feed my French bulldog. Um, I am pretty. Um, I guess the word is anal when it comes to my child because I believe that you know they should enjoy the food that they're eating. It shouldn't just be like, ten, come, yeah. Like, I'm really involved in what my dog eats. I don't really play any games. I observe his stool. I'm looking at the way he pees. Like, I am that mom. I'm that dog mom and his father, my boyfriend, is also just as m meticulous, is that the word, um, as I am. Because I just think is it's really important to really invest into your child. Uh, I think it's important to understand that they should also enjoy the food that they're eating just because they can't speak doesn't mean you just give them whatever but some dogs are um if you guys decided to see how i cook his own food because it's expensive okay royal was on a raw food diet for some time and we do switch it up sometimes just so he can kind of have a little bit of variety but for the most part i like to know what i'm putting in my dog's body because i know that i'm gonna put what's important i'm gonna make sure he eats good um if you guys are excited to see what i feed my dog my french bulldog or if you guys want to know how to feed your french bulldog um hit the like button hit the subscribe button y vamos a comenzar okay guys so a little backstory <laughs> my french bulldog is pretty allergic to chicken when i first when we first got him um he was fine eating the dry grain food that was poultry and then then the outro he just started like having diarrhea everywhere so i did we did some research and we realized that a lot of french bulldogs are more uh it's better for them to it's better for them to just go on raw food diet so this is the raw food that i give royal from time to time so the raw food that he usually eats comes like this, más o menos, um, and this is from Tucker's. Now, I'm not really mad at this. The only thing is that I was starting to see Royal, like he wasn't as engaged with his food as much as I wanted him to, but he does love the raw food. Let me put this back. He does enjoy the raw food, but I started seeing that he's been licking his bowl clean once we started cooking for him um if you guys know this is pretty much the same thing as like just food for dogs so just food, just food for dogs can be a little bit pricier if you guys are on a budget and doing what i'm about to show you today is extremely affordable you don't have to really break the bank and you also know what you're putting in your dog's body so first things first you want to get yourself a big bowl let me just um, zoom in come here bring a good um i like using uh what's it called <coughs> Uh, a slow cooker but for the sake of this video this little this video will literally be like five minutes because the the slow cooker you just dump everything in there and it's good so I'm just gonna put that baby on the low but I like to take um, some ground beef and this one is fine I used some yesterday that's why I like have it in a ziplock but you want to get as much lean meat as possible this one isn't as lean as I would like it to be but what we do is we just drain the fat out of the beef just because you want to make sure that the, the meat is very lean for your dog Royal doesn't know anything about like unhealthy food. So like, you know how you can give some dogs, every dog is different, make sure my pot. So every dog is pretty different. Like, you know, you can give dogs like whatever you want, that's your child. But for me particularly, I don't play when it comes to like table scraps. He doesn't even know what that is unless he managed to find a scrap on the floor by accident. But we're pretty adamant about not giving him bad stuff um, because Frenchies, you know, they, they're very sensitive. Like their stomachs are sensitive, their skin is sensitive. So I just don't want to add on to the bill that's already been added to our life for the past two years it's been the best thing don't worry papa 
I'm not, I'm not mad at it. It's okay. He's just like, girl, just feed me. I don't have time. So when he does eat, we we realized that when we was eating the when he had the raw food, when we gave him salmon, he shed it. I mean, think of raw food as pretty much a a low carb diet or a no carb diet. But in the ingredients of the of the raw food in that packet, Royal would eat half. Depending on the weight of your dog, you should do your own research and you find out what weight, how much you should eat because you also shouldn't overfeed your dogs. I, I know they always look hungry, but don't overfeed your dog. Um, so Royal was starting to shed really easily with salmon and it just was not working for me. Like I was just like, no, mi perro se parece que te ha pasado hambre. So I do the ground beef. I also add some broccoli. Celery and carrots. And I also add some sweet potato just to kind of like give him a little bit more, you know, something to stick because there is not a lot of carbs. But if I'm gonna give him carbs, I want it to be good carbs. So I'm gonna go in and wash these babies. I don't add any olive oil. I have seen people use like olive oil and stuff, but I feel like the ground beef already throws its own fat. Even when we cook it, when we make tacos, I don't add oil to the beef, it's gonna throw its own meat. And I think this, I believe this is like $10, correct me if I'm wrong, but maybe all of this together, this will feed royal for the next week. So, you know, a bag and the frozen veggies, you can, you can get frozen veggies, you can, the carrots, and once you put this all in the pot, you're good to go and you could just pretty much meal prep for your dog. Um, Royal eats two cups a day, so he'll eat one cup for breakfast and one cup for uh, mid midday or dinner, lunch, whatever you, he eats at 10 and then he eats at five. Um, but I'm just gonna pour all this into my pot like this. And this is extremely easy, you guys. You don't have to do too much, I promise. I'm gonna just get you a little bit closer. So you see, it's all with its own grasa. That's gonna throw its own fat and grease. So there's no need to over coat the pot with oil. So I'm trying to think if I should use the slow cooker for my veggies. Hmm. And then just dump it all in because it'll, it'll literally be just like 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna use my slow cooker because it's a lot, it's a lot And I'm pretty much working backwards here, you guys. I'm just gonna dump everything into the slow cooker because I'm just like, once we dump it into here, it'll be perfect. So don't do this. You just could put all, you could just put everything in the slow cooker. All right, you guys. So I decided to just put everything into the slow cooker. I literally forgot that you can sear on the slow cooker. Oh my gosh, that was the whole point. But you can slowly sear your meat into the slow cooker. Let me show you. See? Y'all, it's early, so I haven't had my coffee and that's why I'm like all over the place, but. I wasn't thinking, I'm like, why am I feeling like I'm working too hard and like I'm working smarter, harder, not smarter? Just use your slow cooker. No joda tanto. I was like, oh, it's not gonna be a really good video. I'm not gonna be able to show you guys. But no, you can cook, you can sear your meat and everything in here. You hear it? I don't know if you guys can hear it. Mm. You hear that? Before you know it, Royal will be eating on it's time to wash our veggies you don't need to use all of these but royal he loves celery you love celery papa you want celery no like seriously like, he loves celery you have no idea but let's wash these first you want celery papa sorry yes you want one Oh, yeesh. Oh, yeesh. Here's a little snack. <laughs> he loves the celery, y'all. You see that? My baby healthy. My baby healthy. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, so while Royal is enjoying his little snack, I'm just gonna work chop. All these babies. And I don't do any seasoning. I, again, I do see people add like turmeric and stuff because it helps with like digestion, digested stuff and all that. But I pray. Um, Again, Royal is very like hold on when viene comida, so I don't And I try to cut these up as small as possible too because I don't want him to. If you know anything about dogs, they eat really fast, and then next thing you know, he inhaled a big piece of celery and he throws it up later. That's usually the thing that's ha that happens for Royal. He eats too fast. So I'm just rough chopping. And again, because we're cooking it, it doesn't have to be cooked all, it's not, it's, it's okay. If you're like, damn it, these pieces are too big. Um, I just like to play it safe because they will be cooked, so they'll be a lot softer. And I did hear other places that you don't even have to like cook the, the beef all the way, but because I am meal, meal prepping it for the week, I don't want to like even that and like he gets like sick or something. I'm just gonna cook it all the way. Um, and again, every Frenchie, every dog is different. So you don't have to really follow what I'm doing. You just kind of do what you think is best and you play around. Cause um, we even gave Royal some uh, chicken, ground chicken, and he was so receptive to it. He's been eating it like that for a couple days now, and we just kind of been playing. Again, I treat my dog like a human. Like, do you want your dog to eat the same food every day, or would I like to eat the same food every day? Absolutely not. So, um, sometimes, what? You all done, Papa? Um, and sometimes I just kind of like to switch it up. So we're just gonna midway cook this bad boy. All right, we're just gonna dump the celery in here. And the meat is still, let me show you guys, it's still not cooked all the way. So as you can see, the meat is still not cooked all the way because I don't want the meat to be too cooked. It's gonna be cooked all the way, of course, but we're still gonna add our vegetables and we still have to add our sweet potatoes. And before you know it, we're done. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and add some broccoli. This pot is pretty hefty. So what I love about this is, I'm gonna show you guys what we're looking like. This is what we're looking like right now. Once it's cooked all the way, let me set you guys back up. Once it's cooked, of course people decide to, to clean the, the yard right now. So one thing about my baby, if he is gonna have carbs, I'm gonna give him some good carbs, I'm gonna add some sweet potato. And again, you can guys can even find these recipes, um, some recipes online, and I'm just gonna, Get rid of la cacara. And I just like that his food looks colorful. I know it's a little tedious, but this is my child. This is what we're working with right now. Again, it's still, you can still see a little bit of the raw meat, the raw ground. All right, I'm just gonna clean up like around four carrots, dice these up really nicely, dump it in, cover it for another 10, 15 minutes. And you guys, this baby's about to eat good. Desayuno y lonche. Almost done, papa, almost done. Gonna eat scraps is gonna be vegetables. I'm not gonna give my dog fried and stuff. No, I'm sorry, it's not happening. So we're just gonna toss this. 
So now that this is cooked, my meat looks cooked pretty much midway. She's cooked enough where it's not like overcooked. I mean, this is what it looks like. So we have celery, sweet potato, broccoli, and our ground beef and carrots. I'm gonna put this to a steam. We're gonna just press the steam. Look, that was all. We started this at 30 minutes. So now it's 11 minutes down, but I'm not gonna cook it all the way. I'm gonna now close it and press the vegetable steam button and then we now Okay, now we're just waiting an additional eight minutes. He's dead. What happened, Papa? Look at that face. Look at that face. You're about to eat good though, Papa. Like, I don't feel bad because you're gonna eat really good in a few minutes. You don't wanna hear it? You don't wanna hear it? Look, look at that face. Pa, look at, look at how he has my foot right now. Pa, over it, you over it? Wow. He has an attitude. I'm over here cooking it up for you, making sure that you bien. Wow, your father is arriba Wow, these perros are incredible. Okay, so we're just gonna wait for a little bit. All done! Hold on, it's like super, super steamy, but that's what we're working with. Ah, oh, this looks so good, Roy, you're gonna be so happy. Okay, sweet potato is melting. this real quick and I'll be right back and there you have it okay all right so I have Royal's little doggy bowl right here and I like to take my one cup measuring cup for him all right that's it I'm just gonna pour booyah so this is roughly what it looks like so as you can see it's steaming hot I'm just gonna put this in the fridge for like five minutes or so, just to make sure it's not steaming how I don't want him to burn his mouth. And then I'm gonna add some more little goodies for him so he can enjoy his breakfast. All right guys, his food has cooled off. Next, I'm gonna give him for breakfast some a little antioxidants. Again, people were saying you can also give your dog a little bit of turmeric in his food, but I just like to just drop in a few, a few blueberries in his food. Give him a little, you know, some blueberries. All right, you guys, so this is Royal's breakfast. And if you guys can see for, for dinner, if you wanna be a little bougie or whatever, whatever, you can also add some like plain pasta, like four or five, like little rigatoni or penne or whatever, like no seasoning, just to give him a little bit of carbs if you feel like you, he is lacking and you've seen that his weight is dropping or he or she's weight is lacking. Um, but this is what he eats for breakfast. Now let's see how he likes it. Who's ready to eat? He's like, girl. Feed me already. <gasps> yeah, yeah. And a lot of thing I like to do while my dog is eating, from time to time I like to pet him while he's eating. Cause you know how some dogs get really aggressive when they're eating? Royal is the sweetest. So he doesn't feel like we're like threatening him or his food. Si, así mismo, come bien. He is still looking for more food. You guys, clean. He licks it clean. Let me get that nose. Oh, stop it. Come here, let me, you can't be out here in the camera. We're looking, oh, stop. You know mommy loves you. How was it, boy? How was it? You liked it? Look at this. Oh, oh. Wow. How was it, boy? You enjoyed it? Mommy enjoyed it too. I made it for you for love, with love, okay? All right, you guys, so here you have it. Why are you so... What happened? 
It was good. Mwah. I love you. Um, and again, you're probably like, okay, what does this poop look like? The poop is solid, um, not much of a stench. It's not as dry as the dog food, uh, the raw food would be, but to be honest, it's not as bad as, it's nothing is bad. Nothing is as bad as when he was eating kibble. Papa, there's no more. Setemino, setemino. He's still looking for food. But nothing was ever as bad as how it smelled when he would uh, eat the kibble. This time, it's just, a, a solid poop um but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i had so much fun making it for you guys if you guys have any other videos you guys want me to do with my baby come here no he's still looking for y'all he's looking for food um if you guys want to see royal and some more videos comment down below and let me know what uh we're, that's the only thing i really know i don't really know much else uh he doesn't know any tricks <laughs> besides eating sleeping and being a spoiled child that he deserves to be. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. But but you wanna you wanna close it out with you? Come, come, come. Close it out with me. Close it out with me. Tell them. Make sure you like. No? Tell them. No? Okay. He doesn't care. Uh make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ah! Hmm? Uh, there's an attitude. Bubba. Okay, bye guys. That's it.